Okay, we're going camping. We're gonna be leaving in a minute. Charlie's almost ready to go. We have our traditional Ziggy's order. Yeah, we're wide enough. I'm updating my Onyx maps. I really wish there was a way to download in the background, but whatever. Are you ready? Hello. Okay. We're almost ready. Dexter's very excited. He's very, very excited to go camping. And the reason we lock him up is because it's super dangerous to drive with your dog, like not in some sort of kennel. And he really likes this one. It looks really small for him, but he lays down, he rides really well. He doesn't stay in it all the time. Yeah, this is just his uh, keeping him safe in the vehicle kennel because he roams around and yeah. Okay, are you ready, honey? Let's go. The sit rep for the day is we are gonna go camp um, up somewhere near probably Vale. Um, this is gonna be a fun little overnighter. I've got some new stuff I'm testing out today. Uh, specifically, I'm messing around with some new audio stuff. I hope the sound is okay. And uh, right now we're just waiting for Charlie to plug in directions, decide exactly where we wanna go, and then we're gonna get moving. Just sitting in traffic for no reason. I love I-70. One thing that I like to do is scan around on GMRS uh, while I'm driving here because almost always there's traffic, um, traffic reports, just people complaining about traffic on I-70 and it gives you a little bit of info in terms of like what to expect while you're driving on I-70. It's pretty nice. Lane change. Um, I hate I-70. So this is one of our favorite summer stomping grounds and uh, it's quite crowded today. So we're gonna see what kind of campsite we can find. Luckily it's a very large area. So like we'll find something. Hopefully it's both secluded and has some kind of a decent view. So we'll see. Um, very pretty today though. Very, very pretty. Campsite that Charlie wanted is free. I'm gonna pull around and guide her. No, you're good. Um, how about I pull around and guide you? Yeah, that's perfect. You just have to keep driving forward and you're good to go. Here is the site. There's a really good level spot for Charlie back here. I've got level spots over here. There'll be traffic if it drives by, but that's okay. There's shade. This is nice. I am liking this. This is a good little place. Um, look at that view though. Look like, at it. This is where I wanted to camp that one time, but there's somebody parked right there in a forerunner. Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna go get my truck and then we can kind of do a full tour walk around. How you know the brakes are working. Okay, Charlie thinks she knows what she wants to do. Basically, she just wants to be the opposite way that she was there because her tent opens the other direction. So she's just gonna do that real quick. This is a nice, reasonably level area. Like, this will be easy for me to pull in and get level. Once she's all set up, we'll be good to go. So let's just see how she's doing here. Charlie is perfectly leveled out, so that's cool. I need to get mine now, and that would be a nice spot, but I don't want to camp with my truck anywhere underneath that big old dead tree right there. So I'm going to try and pull around somewhere here, see kind of where I can park that is safe from the dead trees, whoop, Dexter fur everywhere, but also far enough from Charlie so that I don't wake her up when I get up super early in the morning. 
the sun is absolutely punishing right now and I'm not really a hat guy never liked hats but I'm gonna have to do it and if you're overlanding are you even overlanding if you don't have a black multicam hat now we're overlanding let's assess your front to back we are zero degrees which is exactly what I like to sleep with side to side we are one degree I can deal with that I won't really even notice that so we're good to go there's a natural little bump right here and then I'm almost parked in this fire pit which you know maybe not the best thing but also shouldn't be having fires so that's good to go there the bugs are out the flies are out I'm pretty close to Charlie but that's okay we're close enough to run the string lights which is pretty sweet so we're definitely definitely gonna run the string lights tonight how we doing honey I'm just trying to figure out where that shit smell is coming from people need to clean up after themselves like, this is disgusting. bring a bucket if you're gonna poop in the woods either bury it real real deep or, or bring a bucket and pack it out Charlie insists there's a poop smell here I personally don't smell it but ever since I got the unspecified disease of unknown origin I haven't been able to I used to have a really sensitive sense of smell and now I don't anymore it's like 60% what it used to be and it never came back so I can't smell the dookie smell which maybe for me is a good thing god this is pretty this is amazing we were here um last trip we were here with the camp and with some mom's vid this was a spot that Charlie pulled over near and wanted to come camp at. It's very small, but uh, very pretty. So I'm excited for this. Okay, so the perfect leveling that we had, we totally reversed it because Charlie insisted she could smell dookie and I could not smell dookie. So I just switched spots with her. So here we are. Charlie's where I was. I'm where Charlie was. And I had to end up putting down some blocks, but I'm, I'm perfectly level. We are close enough to each other where we can um, use string lights and stuff. We're gonna do that tonight, no matter what. We can put the shelter tent somewhere over here. I'm not exactly sure where, but yeah, that's kinda it. I guess we'll get all set up. It is very, very warm out tonight, today, this day, it's warm. Um, it says 63, 62, but the sun is absolutely punishing. Uh, Cool. Dexter really needs to come out. He's he's not happy right now. He's not a happy boy. Exploring, marking his territory, doing what all dogs love to do. That's cool. We got like this little area back here. It's basically Narnia. We could just set up the shelter in here and enjoy Narnia, but the skeeters are everywhere already. So if we do set up in here, we'll have to have the thermocell, which is fine. I brought it and I got a 72 hour pack of cartridges, but the Skeeters here are V aggressive. They don't care about nothing. So one thing that I said earlier is I'm testing out a new audio solution. So hopefully it comes out. Okay. Let me know how it sounds. This microphone is capable of recording multiple pickup patterns. So front to back, omnidirectional shotgun back only. It's super cool and it digital interfaces into the Sony uh, multi-shoe instead of going into 3.5 millimeter. And it has auto gain on it, which I'm using right now. Not crazy about the auto gain. I figured I probably wouldn't love it, but I'm gonna record a video and just see how it works. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's useful and I don't have to go back to normal analog oh, Ooh, gain. Dexter just wants to be everywhere. No, we're He's not plowing us all down. Okay. We got the uh, screen room set up. Charlie's gonna read um, some instructions on some new microphones she's got, cause she's gonna start a YouTube channel, but it's gonna be one of them ASMR camping videos channels. It's gonna be awesome. Now our keen eyed viewers might've noticed we set the screen room up before we set the rooftop tents up. And wow, Chris, that's really close. Also, that's really close. Well, yes, we did that. Oh well, if we have to move, we'll just have to move. That's just gonna be a thing. I think Charlie has plenty of room behind her. Like she's good there. I think I'm gonna have some issues. Do you want one of these or two of these? 
but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I'll take one, please. Um, this is a little um, pantyhose for your window so you can let some air flow in. Charlie already started drinking, so I have to keep up. I've got these quirk hard seltzers, which I normally really like. They make like a, a whip flavor pack, like orange whip and blackberry. It's really good. Uh, this though is not the whip pack. It's a different one I hadn't seen before. This is lemon thyme limeade. I never choose lemon lime anything because who does? You're given lemon, lemon lime and like you just have to drink it. Um, I don't know how this is going to be. So we're going to put this in my trusty DX Engineering Yeti um, koozie. DX Engineering or Yeti, if you want to sponsor me, go for it. I'm going to try not to clip the mic. Okay, let's give her a taste. Mmm, uh, smell, mmm. I don't like any part of that. That is really bad. It tastes like, it tastes like heartburn. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like, um, uh, what is it? Like ginger beer or like a really tart Moscow mule without the ice. And I don't really like those either. Ugh. I'm going to get through this one as fast as I can. Ooh, man, that's rough. I made a tactical error this trip. You see, I always bring my Birkenstocks with me camping. And when I get to camp, I change into cooler shoes. We thought it was going to rain this trip, so I brought my camp in Crocs instead. And Crocs are great. Who doesn't love Crocs? But my problem is Crocs, for me, they wear very hot. So I... I'm gonna have comfortable, oh, but hot feet for the rest of the day. But it's better than these Solomon Genesis, which are great shoes, but they are also warm because they're shoes. The Jennies are gonna go right here. Jennies. Already comfortable, but hot feet. Charlie's, we're gonna do some sort of thing for her. Vidya, she's got me testing out this little newer, newer mic. It's basically a, it's basically a DJI um, wireless mic kit, but substantially cheaper. Dexter, come here. Dexter's trying to escape. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get the dead cat on, and it's gonna be great. It's got like little things that's gotta go on here. Getting okay. mic'd up. I feel like the talent. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. You're the help. I was born ready. No talent. Talk. Talking. I'm talking at a normal volume. How cool. is this? Yeah, perfect. Cool. It's all connected? Yeah. Excelente. All right. Commence this. If you want to see what we record, subscribe to her wherever she posts this. I don't know yet. We don't know yet. Well, we're going to have some weather soon. So we're eating our snackies. Might have to batten down the hatches, hunker down. Mm -hmm. You can see doom approaching us, but we're not going to stop eating. Once we're done eating, then we'll handle the doom. Charcuterie before terror. That's right. Always. Okay, so with that approaching, I need to get my tent set up probably pretty dang quick. So we're going to get all of this kind of, we're going to get all that kind of put away. I'm going to get the tent set up. And we might just have to hang out in the tent for a while. Right, let's see how the ladder cooperates with all of this going on. Plenty of room, kind of. So it's not ideal, but I've got a little bit of room. So it'll work. It's good enough. So we're definitely hearing thunder. Um, <laughs> the idea is we have everything set. This thing's basically empty. 
We're gonna hang out here until it starts raining. Then we're gonna jump in the tents and just kind of hang out. Um, if it does get really bad, we'll get into the trucks. Cause you know, there's a lot of stuff taller than us, but being in a rooftop tent in terrible weather is not fun for anybody. So everything's kind of hunkered down and set. We're just gonna kind of wait it out. What do you think? I'm just waiting to see what it does. I am really glad that the sun is gone because it did cool down yeah very nice it did dexter is happy everything's good to go i don't know if you guys can hear the thunder but it's definitely out there it's in the distance i haven't seen any lightning yet but we hear the thunder. We're just kind of waiting for it to come through. I don't know what it's going to be like. I brought with me a couple big tarps. The thought was I could waterproof the screen room enough, but the thing is, I don't think I can do it. I don't know if there's enough attachment points to really make it work, but also because it's at a slant, the screen room itself like the floor, the ground is, it's just gonna get, cut, like water's gonna run underneath. So it would be miserable in there anyway. So the best thing to do is just hang out in the rooftop tents. Oh well, that's camping. You can see the rain in the distance. Look at him, he's having a great time. We tie him to the forerunner because I don't love the idea of him being off leash. I like seeing where he's at, knowing where he's at. Some people can off leash their dogs. Dexter's not a dog you can off leash. He is a bit skittish. He's a bit reactive to people and other dogs. So I think it's my responsibility as an owner to like know the limits of my dog. And that is one of the limits we have for Dexter. Yeah. Some people with friendly dogs can go off leash, and that's great. But not every dog is friendly. Dexter loves two. No, he loves three now because my parents got another tiny dog. He loves three very tiny dogs immensely. But he does not like new dogs coming up to him. And he doesn't like new people coming up to us, which is great for security. But it can be a bit stressful to camp with. It can definitely be stressful. Agreed. Yeah. We're still just hanging out. Waiting for the weather. I mean, it looks gnarly, but so far nothing. We'll see how bad it gets. We just went on a bit of a hike. Sorry, I didn't record while we were hiking. Okay. Um, we we're kind of lost, to be honest. I don't know how to get back to camp. Oh, it's right there. Um, <laughs> Dexter's doing his thing. Ticks, ticks everywhere. We're walking through tick country right now, seeing how many ticks we can get. Narrow trail. Avoiding the ticks. Come on, little angel. Let's go back. I ain't got any permethrin on me. Come on, baby. Let's go back. We're going back. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hang on. Dexter keeps seeing and hearing and smelling something off in the distance. So, who knows what it is. And it's raining. So, starting to come down. Nothing too bad right now. Pretty light. I might, um get into my tent, get into Charlie's tent. I don't really know. I don't know what we're gonna do, but the camera might go away for a bit just because uh, I don't wanna get it wet. My boxed Chardonnay sprung a leak up here. So, you know, I always keep some Gorilla Tape on and uh, boom, leak fixed. It is really starting to get kind of not so nice out. It's cold wind. It's coming down a little bit more. I mean, the camera I can still have out. It's not that bad, but Charlie's doing her nighttime stuff now so that we don't have to do it later. You ready? This is teamwork at its finest. I have the it's worst cystic acne. So, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have to do every night, otherwise, you know what could happen. One thing that we're trying to plan here is it's 519. Mm. 
That is not good at all. It's 519 and we just ate like as a snack a thousand calories of like cold cuts and cheese. So neither of us are hungry and we may not be hungry for dinner. I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, if the weather holds, like this isn't that bad. We can easily cook in this and all that stuff, but we may just spend the rest of the night in the tents and that's fine. Um, that's okay. But we don't really know how the night's going to play out. So we might make dinner. We might not. I don't want to cook a meal in this weather. If it's really gross, I brought sausages. I was going to make like tortilla and sausage and cheese wraps, I guess that doesn't sound very good, but it is what it is. Uh, or I brought a backpacking meal. I'm going to maybe do some beef stroganoff. So I don't know. just depends how hungry I am. I don't know if I can eat an entire beef stroganoff package though. It's a lot of food. We're just sitting here enjoying the time outside. It rains on and off. Dexter is hanging out in his little, it looks like a jail cell, but he's hanging out there. We're just enjoying ourselves as the weather holds. We'll see if it holds much longer. Yeah. Getting real cold out. Um, I'm sure you can hear my lens screaming that annoying sound because it's dark out. And I think it's doing that when it's aperture is wide open. I got to send this thing in for repair. But anyway, it's getting real cold out. I'm in my winter jacket and I'm still kind of chilly. Part of that comes from being anemic, you said, right? Well, I am anemic. I'm being treated for low iron. So maybe as I keep taking my iron pills, that'll come up. I'm trying to decide if I want dinner. I'm not hungry, but I could be. I could make myself hungry. But this is kind of the camping trip we needed. I think we just needed to relax a bit, um, hang out at camp. I'm okay with it. I like it. It's beautiful here. And sitting around all day, honestly, is pretty nice. Not opposed to it. Raining again. Charlie's making her dinner, which is just a little salad. I am still not hungry. I might force myself to eat, because if I don't eat dinner, I'm gonna get real hungry tonight. That's what I'm doing. I'm not yeah. necessarily hungry, but I don't feel like eating in the pouring rain. And I know for a fact I'll get really hungry later. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna force myself to eat some dinner here, so I'm boiling some water. I'm gonna make a beef stroganoff packet. This isn't the greatest choice for me to be honest, but it has so much um, protein and an okay amount of fiber. And the carbohydrates aren't super out of my range. If I ate the whole bag, it'd only be a little bit above my normal meal intake. So it's okay. I'm really not hungry, but I need to eat something. Otherwise I'm gonna be starving in the middle of the night. And that's even worse than if I ate now. So that's what I'm gonna do. So. You let it sit for 10 minutes and then basically you eat it. My favorite backpacking meal of all time is mountain house beef stroganoff. It's, it's so good that I actually like look forward to eating it. I haven't had it in years, but I figured I'd give these peak refuel meals a try because we sell so many of them where I work. Um, nutritionally, like obviously this is meant for people who are super, super active and this is like a really bad meal choice for me, but really it's not the worst thing like i mean it is but it's not the thing is sodium i've seen worse um total carbs for the entire bag is 50 grams i try to limit myself to 40 grams per meal fiber two grams eh, that's okay sugars i'm not worried about that it's you know you can't really avoid it 41 grams of protein though that's awesome that's super cool so we'll see how this one compares to my favorite mountain house if it's not as good I'll just eat Mountain House, but this had, compared to Mountain House, if I remember correctly, a better carbohydrate to protein um, ratio for me personally. I don't want a carb load. I'm not hiking tens of miles every day. This is just an easy last minute meal for me. Got it. I opened it without looking at it. Let's see what it's like. Okay. I mean, it's definitely probably more wet than it needs to be. I probably should have put less water in. The thing about these recipes is they always tell you a weird amount of water that you can't possibly measure given the tools that you have, but that's okay. All right, let me try this. Just making sure I stir it again. Let's see what we got in here. It looks very well re-moisturized. Uh, 
Mm. Um, I gotta be honest. Well, the mushrooms are kind of still kind of hard. Might just need more time than what it says on there. It's also, we're at high elevation, so that might have something to do with it. Mm. It's good. It needs hot sauce for sure. But it's been so long since I've tried Mountain House that I'm going to have a hard time comparing because it's been so long. The mushrooms are chewy. Or is that the beef? I can't tell. I think that's the beef. Can I smell that? Mm-hmm. Want to try it? No, I brush my teeth. It smells really good. It's good, but it definitely needs more time reconstituting. I feel like it's not like done yet. Yeah. I think because we're at elevation, sorry if you guys can see me, I think it's because we're at elevation it just needs more time to kind of suck up what it's doing, but tastes good. Needs hot sauce and then it'll be extra good. Okay, that's a lot of hot sauce, but that's what's going to give it the zing it needs. I just ate it. I ate the meal. Overall review. That was a lot of calories and not that much food, which is the idea. It's very good. I added a lot of hot sauce and then it was really good. I added way too much water, so it was more of a soup. It's good. It's good. Um, I'm going to see how my stomach handles it in the next few hours. And hopefully I don't have to explode and have a horrible time later in the middle of this pristine forest that would no longer be pristine. Okay, we are here. Hold on, let me light this bad boy. We're here in the tent. Charlie's in her tent. She's gonna edit some photos for a bit. I'm just gonna lay here. I wanted to get my stuff set up. For me, setup takes just a little bit longer because I've got my CPAP and everything and the X-Ped. So it just takes a little bit longer. So it's nice to kind of get in here and relax a little bit. I also have way more stuff in here than I really need. I could just get by with nothing um and i do like doing that but sometimes it's nice to have my like my travel duffel in here and my clothes and my shower wipes and not have to like individually bring each item up here just to save space like we're in no rush to leave in the morning so packing up quick doesn't really matter that much this is really comfy though i'm gonna lay here for a bit probably got about hmm, maybe 20 minutes of daylight left the sky is trying to poke out through the clouds a little bit, but it's still very overcast. I have the skylight open on the eye camper. It's letting a little bit of light in, but I've got my uh, little string light thing here ready to roll. This thing's pretty nice. I might actually string it out tonight and see if I can light up the whole thing, but I don't even bother lighting the tent because I'm in here so little that lighting the tent doesn't really matter that much. But maybe I'll do that this time. Good morning. It's the next day. We crawled into the tents, tried to watch Twister, the new Twisters movie, Twisters. Um, I fell asleep immediately, which was upsetting because I missed the whole movie. I'll have to watch it some other time. I have free time. And then we went to bed. And then in the middle of the night, I got up to have horrible, horrible diarrhea. Um... Sorry if that's TMI, but that's the reality of camping. And uh, now it's like 8 a.m. and we're actually starting to get up and move around. So Charlie's alarm just went off. I just crawled out of my tent, got a few minutes of sleep. Um, we'll see how the morning goes. I'm back to doing the classic pour over. Doing some Pete's light roast. Um, I usually like dark roast, but I figured I'd go light roast. It's got more caffeine. This is basically ready, and I'll just do the pour over. Nothing fancy, but I like this one because I can make a lot of coffee at a time, and it's pretty cheap. This light roast is uh, not good. It's strong. Very, very strong. I put a lot of coffee grounds in, but it's not, uh, not my favorite. Want to try it? The light roast? No. Okay. 
It's very, very strong. I made a rookie mistake last night. Um, I left the luggable loo all the way in the back of the truck. So when I woke up, I had to unload whatever was in the truck bed. And I built myself a little, <laughs> little fortress like this. And I put my, my big rumple over <laughs> and I shoved the luggable loo in there. And that was my station. It worked okay. It was, it was surprisingly warm considering it was middle of the night, but you know, always put your luggable loo out somewhere where you can get to it quickly if you need to. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't film that, but you know, YouTube has rules about stuff like that. Charlie has recently gone the instant coffee route. Which one is that? Nescafe Gold? Yeah, it is Espresso, the blonde roast. It's pretty good. She made me a little drink last week. And it's really nice. So she's going to make her little mix. Got oat milk and all that stuff. Yeah, I already put in some water and did the first little round. But I'm feeling like I need it a little stronger. So. Nice. I might see if I can borrow some of that oat milk. Just to lessen the harsh of this sludge. Charlie and I have built a plan. We are thinking we're going to pack up camp earlier than we had originally anticipated and head home. It's about a two hour drive to get back to the house uh, and then try and be productive today. Hit Costco, do some life stuff that we have to do. Maybe watch a movie, meal prep a little bit, normal, you know, end of weekend type stuff. So we're going to do that, not hang out at camp very long at all. And I guess I'll just start kind of packing up. Uh, I will film some more as we roll out, but uh, for now I think I'm just going to get stuff situated and we're going to get moving so we can have a pretty full day at home, which we need to do. Okay, that's the video. We just got home. Uh, shortly after we jumped onto I-70, which is when I stopped recording, uh, a rock flew up and claimed another one of my windshields, which is the second one in like two and a half months that I'll probably have to replace. That's annoying. Luckily, I got good insurance. I don't know how often they let me replace my windshield for free though. We're gonna find out. I don't think this one's patchable. Maybe it is. But that's the last video of camping for probably a couple weeks because we're going to Overland Expo next. So next weekend, Overland Expo, maybe I'll make a video, maybe I won't, I don't know. I'm trying to make a video every week, but it won't be camping for a few weeks. So if you liked what you saw uh, and you're new around here, subscribe because I'm gonna try and keep this up and uh, like and comment and share and do all of those things because I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. Okay, bye.